and fire, there are only two people. There are only two types of people that can survive. Those who are willing to do battle and walk through the flames are those who find themselves locked in an ever-gripping fear of making it through the fire. There, let's just set the stage where two teams are locked in the ever battle where they're faced with the fire. Will they hold on to it and embrace the fire and fight it? Or will they be locked in fear to never, ever get through it again? This is the NBA Finals. It's your boy T Law Kai, and this is the NBA Finals. This is game four. Yes, we are going for the sweep. We are right now going to embrace the fire, as you've seen in that intro. Guys, tell me how you like that intro. It's Michael Carter Williams is trying to make a move on Ricky Rubio, and he does and gets the nice three. I love Michael Carter Williams' progression at from becoming a not so well three-point shooter and look that look at that crossover nobody really caught that but look how fast he made Chevet turn around I'm sorry uh, that was not Ricky Rubio that was Chevet and I was like look how crazy like he made that man do a full spin as we drop another three and as you guys know we are always down in the first half as Andrew Wiggins gets the dunk nice dunk by Andrew Wiggins going right in on the whole entire paint you know how you've seen a whole lot of Jabari Parker in a, in a clip um, in a video before or in episode 14? And you're going to see a whole lot of Jabari Parker. And you're going to see a whole lot of Andrew Wiggins giving Jabari Parker the workout of his life as, Jabari, as Andrew Wiggins no longer has to play the four. He is not able to play the three. And he's looking to play it effectively. As we get out to the three point corner to play great defense, and Kobe with the ball in his hand. Does a little step back dribble and gets the three to tie the ball game up. But yeah, how did you guys feel about that intro? How did you guys feel about the last video, the montage style, and just the type, different type of memes that we were doing and stuff like that? Let's look at my man Doug McDermott getting the ball and going over two defenders. They look very disappointed as they realize Doug McDermott is unstoppable. But yeah, how did you guys feel about that video for it? episode 14 of the my gm series how did you feel about that that montage you know put that in the comment section i know i usually don't ask you guys to um comment like and subscribe in every video but you know if you can comment and, and like this video if you like the video that'd be great because you know always looking for that feedback and you know even when you're doing a youtube series such as this you need you need the feedback to know that the youtube series is doing pretty well so that you can continue to move on with it and you know you, you just need that advice as Marcus Smart gets the buzzer beater just shocking the crowd guys and I know you guys want me to talk a little bit more about the gameplay man I was so happy to get good footage as the block from Marcus Smart goes over the backboard but yeah I was so glad to get full game footage of this in <laughs> NBA Finals as we go to take our brooms out. That's right, guys. The brooms are out. We are trying to we're trying to get this sweep here as Kobe wanted to throw the oop to Marcus Smart. Well, I wanted to throw the oop to Marcus Smart, and they ended up giving the oop to Guinness on the Um, you know, don't worry, because this oop was right on target. Right on target to Nerlens Noel, who's such a big part of our offense and our defense. And he's just a major contributor in so many ways. As Jabari Parker thought he was had a, Jabari Parker must thought he had his big boy pants on and decided to post up with Lamarcus Aldridge. But look at my man's Doug McDermott. They gave him too much space. Too much space for my man's Doug. Doug gets the nice corner three, corner pocket. Letting you guys know. But yeah, this this is just crazy. It's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy Fourth of July. How are you guys? Fourth of July has has been going. As Andrew Wiggins gets 
this crazy, but look at the Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart gets crossed over and gives up a three. Andrew Wiggins tried to help out, and we give up a three by Jabari Parker. We cannot leave that man open, but Kobe said, you know, I'm going to get this tough layup. But yeah, how'd you guys 4th of July go? You know, it was very, very, you know, great to, you know, you know, relax on my 4th of July. I've been relaxing a lot lately, but I'm going to be getting these YouTube videos out fast. And I need you guys to once again comment on what you've been, what you will be expecting for it on the YouTube channel. I don't really know. Yeah. And look, look at how sad Trey Murphy looks on the bench. Man, Trey Murphy just looks so sad. Um, yeah. Just want you guys to know, you know, that I'm looking for the feedback on the YouTube channel as Marcus, Michael Carter Williams continues to get that nice three. I learned that game plan. Because Mark, Michael Carter Williams had three pointers at an 85, so I feel like I should be more confident when shooting his three pointer. But you know, you can never, you can never be too safe. And I learned, you know, sometimes you gotta take risk on the court. As Chris Anderson plays great defense on that layup. Um, but yeah, you can, you can never, you can never be too safe on the court, and you can never be too safe. I mean, you can never be too safe with YouTube. I really need to know you guys' feedback. How do you feel about the channel? What videos are you looking forward to? Um, I know in the past, you know, I used to say that I used to do this YouTube channel. I was doing this YouTube channel for the T Log team, and yes, it is. But we, the team T Log cannot be a, a a team if it weren't for you know you guys, the active audience, even the T Log members who are watching this video are a great active audience for us and I just want to thank you guys for that and Andrew Wiggins gets the nice block um the fourth quarter came around and we went ham I ain't gonna lie this look at this look at the crazy dunk by Andrew Wiggins this, this, this is what the fourth quarter was this this was just us going ham on the opposite team and not caring what they thought what they thought they were going to do at their own home court because we were coming here for the kill and you know you got to be aggressive you got to be aggressive on defense and offense to win games and that's what we're doing we're being aggressive on both sides throwing oops look at that nice crazy oop catch by Kobe Bryant as Mike Carter Williams gets right past Ricky Rubio what is he doing move out the way Ricky I'm coming in the paint to dunk it Marcus Smart says but yeah, we we finally just moved it down to the last five seconds. And like it was pretty much more domination. Like you look at the score, 157 to 135. And look, man. The Sixers did it. They made history on the Eastern Conference Finals. And they finally did it. Um They make they won the championship. It's been so long since they last won the championship. I think it was about the 86, 85, or probably 84, between those areas. I should really do my research on my hometown team. But it's been such a long time. Too bad they couldn't win in the Philly because the sweep was mandatory. The sweep was necessary. We cannot go on playing any more thing. But look at the shorts of Michael Carter Williams, y'all. This man, this, what, what are you doing with his shorts, man? Hey. Hey, Michael Carter Williams, yo. As it says, it's not this kind. It's not that kind of party, yo. Put your put your shorts on, right? Michael Carter Williams is the only one with, with weird looking shorts, y'all. Maybe maybe L.A. Lamarcus Aldridge over there, his shorts look a little weird, but I don't know. Your man's got the whole compression shorts out. But look at that trophy, guys. The new coach, the, all the rebuilding, all the off-season stuff, all the things that we've been up to, all the things that we've got a chance to get done and get accomplished has all come to this point. And it's just been great for for these guys to really see them come out and celebrate. I know it's crazy, you know, looking at this, but when I first did the off-season thing, went through the off-season um, videos and all that and playing a couple games, I was like, man, this is going to be really hard. I do not, I do not know how we're going to be able to win a championship with this team. I thought the team had to be better, but with hard work and just, and just dedication, 
you get to see that this team has come a long way. It's Michael Carter Williams wins Finals MVP. He was in the second running. He was in second place for the running of MVP of the NBA. But you know how that goes. Your boy can't win it all. But it's still just exciting to see Michael Carter Williams take home the trophy, guys. I know I'm talking over to other commentators, but it's just a great feeling knowing that you know you put all this work in this my GM and you played you played most of the games in the season to find that your team that you work so hard on is not only a great team but they're able to win a championship such as this one and also the, the fact that it's my my hometown team and that it's a Philly, it's Philadelphia 76ers who haven't won a championship in such a long time it's really really important but anyway let's get back to business guys I thought about the my gym series for quite some time now I don't know if you want this to be the last um, episode of the series I don't know if you want me to continue this series um, I did record the offseason all that so if you guys want to see that please put that in the comment section uh, basically I looked at the, the improvements of our team and the team seems to have some crazy overalls like the team the Sixers now are an all-star team and I feel like they're 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 gonna win a championship again but it won't be exciting for you guys because and it won't probably won't be exciting for me because every time I play a team it will seem like a blowout so you guys I just really want to know put your feedback in the comment section about how you feel about the my gym series should I move on to a different team should I do something new with NBA 2k should I start with another series or another video game Please let me know in the comment section below. This has been your boy, T Law Kai. I'm going to leave you with the brackets, basically, to see how the playoffs went out and who did what and how they made, how they fared out. But anyway, this is your boy, T Law Kai, signing out. Peace.